To tell us more about your story, first of all, you very ill. Lyme disease is one of those diseases that maybe some doesn't generate sympathy because the symptoms are so subtle, but it's truly life altering, isn't it? It not? definitely is, and it's very hard to diagnose too. So yeah. a lot of times you go to doctors and they can't diagnose you. Right. The testing isn't good, so it's hard to take it seriously. And right. It is hard to get sympathy. And of course, the later you diagnose it, the harder it is to Absolutely, treat. Absolutely, the more damage it causes. So where are you in your journey now? I mean, there's no cure, so we can't say food cured you, but what did healthy eating do for you? It really helped my immune system. It helped me feel a lot better. I am in remission. I've been in remission for about awesome. two years. I did treatments for three years. I tried everything. Uh, stem cells are what ultimately healed me, but food is a huge piece of that puzzle. Because it built your immune system and enabled your own body to fight the it disease? It does. That's one of the best ways to try to get into remission is really fixing your immune system okay. and getting your immune system strong since there is no cure. So just give us three things that we can all do to boost the immune system because whether or not you're ill, a stronger immune system means you'd be able to avoid illness. Absolutely. What are three quick things? I would say diet is definitely number one, mm -hmm. eating very clean, making sure you cut out inflammatory foods. Such it's, as? Uh, Give us just a quick grains, list. Gluten, dairy can all be very inflammatory. So even if you are not gluten sensitive or have celiac disease, you should cut back on wheat? You can try it. I, I always recommend trying it for 30 days, seeing how you feel. You might have symptoms that you know were part of your day-to-day -day life that disappear, cutting out the really? inflammatory foods. So it's always good just to try it, just to test things out. How difficult and is it, though, to give up It's wheat? tricky. It's tricky. I mean, I think having the celiac diagnosis makes it a lot easier for me because yeah. I can never cheat. Right. Um, but it is in everything, and it's difficult to eat out. Cross-contamination is an issue. But yeah. Most people aren't as sensitive as I am due to the celiac, so. Okay, might be worth a try, just, okay. So what are you gonna show us well, today? Well, today I'm gonna make chicken apple patties. So these are a really great breakfast item. They can be an easy weeknight dinner. Okay. A lot of sausages are often filled with fillers and sugars and all kinds of ingredients that you really shouldn't be starting your day off with. So this is a very nice, clean sausage okay. alternative. And when you say clean, what pe people hear that and they don't know what that means. Sure, clean means it doesn't have any fillers, it doesn't have sugar, it doesn't have hidden ingredients, hidden gluten, things okay. that can be inflammatory for your body. Okay. So it's really using, you know, very basic ingredients, simple ingredients, fresh herbs and okay. spices. So you've ground up some chicken. That's right. So we've got some ground chicken here. In a here. food processor or how do you? Uh, you can buy it already ground. Okay. Most grocery stores do right. carry it. Okay. And then we're going to take one apple. And so I like to peel and core it and then shred it. You can shred it with a mandolin, a box grater, a food processor, whatever is easy. So okay. I've got some apple here that's already ready to go. Okay. And you just need about one apple. Okay. And so you've got your vitamin C and your antioxidants. <laughs> right, there an in the apple, apple a day keeps the doctor away. Right. And then we've got some sage, and I like to use fresh herbs whenever possible. They have a lot of polyphenols and good antioxidants. Okay. So if you don't have it fresh, you can always use dried, but fresh is good. Right. And then we've got some ground cinnamon. Very good for the heart. Mm-hmm. We've got some garlic powder. Okay. Some onion powder. And if you wanted to use fresh garlic, fresh onion, would that be okay? Absolutely, you can always those use are fresh. Some cancer fighters. They are. They're really good and some salt. And then the maple syrup is completely optional. I personally don't really have too much of a sweet tooth, but if you want to go kind of for that maple sausage flavor, you can do it. So that's always a good good option that you can add in. So you don't cut out sugar entirely from your diet? I do, personally. Oh, okay. um, but in the paleo diet, you do cut out sugar, but you can use uh, honey and maple syrup are the two approved sweeteners. Okay. If you're doing more of a ketogenic diet, you can use uh, stevia, or xylitol, different sweeteners like that, um, and those don't raise your glycemic index. But in general, you know, cut isn't it important though with stevia to make sure that you get the natural? Natural is one of those words that's so thrown around because there's some stevias that are chemically Still altered, right? Still have sugar, right? very chemically, yeah. So you definitely want to try to get one that's an actual pure stevia, and if you can find a liquid form, that tends to be a little bit really? cleaner. Really? How do you know, though? It, I mean, there's so many choices out there; it there can be are, really confusing. It's really about finding brands that your values align with, and you know, making okay. sure that they're gluten-free, paleo, and and just doing a lot of research. Okay. So, so you've mixed this up. This yep, doesn't look too this. time consuming. No, and then you do just easy. cook it just like a regular sausage Just like patty. a patty. So I have a little trick. I love to use a burger press. And what this does, I don't know if you've made patties and they kind of expand and yes. grow and get all deformed. So this is really great because you can just put a little bit of meat in there in the ring. And you have all different sizes. Okay. And then you just press it. Whoops, it's sticking a little bit today, but well, then you've and got you a end up with patty, these beautiful yep. and you've uniform. got your patties there. May I taste? Absolutely. Okay. And usually I like to serve these with a side of spinach, sautéed spinach, but Ooh. another alternative is you can do collard greens. They're a really hearty green, they're really rich in folate, calcium. You can sauté them with a little butter, a little coconut oil, and you've got a perfect side. They good? <laughs> <laughs> 
speechless. <laughs> too, too big a bite. <laughs> Usually I have Alex here <laughs> to talk because you know I always eat. That's good. It's good, right? Okay, Wandering Palette. What's the easiest way to get it? Uh, you can get it on my website, thetrilltohealth.com. It's also on Amazon. Perfect. All right, free shipping all month from Amazon. Thank you so much. <laughs>